Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD, and today we're going to be dealing with offline domain join. I did this video a while back, but I never finished it for you guys, so I'm going to finish it right now. So, the first thing that I need to do, or what I did, was uh, you need to create three files. Two of them are PowerShell scripts, and one is a regular text file. So, let's go inside our C drive and go into my deployment share because that's where my deployment share is located. We're going to go to the scripts folder. And I'm going to go inside my customized folder because this is where I put all my customization stuff. Uh, within here, I created a text file. And the text file is basically all the computer names that I want to provision automatically uh, beforehand before I push out my image to these offline users. So for this video, I only have one. And this particular file is going to be called within my provision offline join PowerShell script. Now, you guys don't have to worry. I'm going to be placing all these uh, commands as well as these files at my site. And I'm going to be placing the link at the description. So I'm going to show you guys what this folder does and that PowerShell script. So I'm going to go inside my PowerShell console and let's go into my provision offline join. So as you can see, I am telling it I'm creating a variable called MDT join computer name file location. And it's at my uh, customized BTNHD folder inside my script folder. I, I called another uh, variable data and I'm getting the content within that computer name and I'm running the djoin provision domain my domain which is going to be your domain machine dollar sign underscore reuse save file and it's going to save it to the location right here so I'm going to be right here as you see there's nothing in here so I'm going to run it awesome provision of the computer so it's provisioning this computer that I'm on right now okay so you have to have a machine that's already part of your domain to do this so as you can see that's the file so if I right click and let's say open with I'm gonna open it with one notepad and you're gonna see all this gibberish stuff this gibberish stuff is what's needed to actually add your offline machines to your domain so that's awesome okay now I want to go to my Active Directory, and I'm going to refresh, and as you see, the name is there. So I want to do it one more time. I'm going to delete this out of there, because I don't, I don't want you guys to think that, that that was already there. So let's delete this. I'm going to refresh my domain. Nothing's there, right? Awesome. Nothing's in here in this folder as well, so I'm going to refresh it again. And I'm going to run the PowerShell script again. Complete it. That file is there. Awesome. And if I go back into my Active Directory, I right click and refresh. Just to refresh. There you go. There it goes. So that file right here is basically all the computer names that you want within your offline base. Now I only have I'm gonna only have one machine that I need to offline, and that's gonna be the name of it. Right? So we're gonna close this and we're gonna close my I'm not gonna yeah, I'm gonna close my active directory. And the next PowerShell script that I had to create was the offline join. Now the offline join PowerShell script is basically calling the djoin and loading that particular file that we created right here. That's all it's doing, right? And I actually dropped this PowerShell script inside the main root of our uh, shell script folder. So it is right in here there it goes right the next thing that I did was again guys don't have to worry I'm gonna be placing all this stuff at my site and the link is gonna be at the bottom of the description so you guys could grab a copy and you know modify the shell scripts the way that you want it and then within my deployment workbench I created a folder within my task sequence as you guys know I love creating folders and within that folder I created a standard task sequence I'm gonna double click on it and I added two uh, variables at the very end. I disable imaging because I'm not going to do any imaging. Uh, I created a PowerShell uh, script variable and I called the ZTI offline join PowerShell script. And at the very end, I restarted the computer. And what I'm going to do is I am not going to deploy it um, doing Pixie. I'm cheating in some way because I'm still online. The Active Directory is still live. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a media. So I'm going to right click on media, new media. Uh, the media path is going to be, let's say, let's get into this PC. Let's get into Z Drive, BTNHD, and uh, let's create a new folder. 
it's core media there it goes ah let's do it one time there you go media excellent uh everything yes i want everything for now and next okay the media was completed successfully so we're gonna hit finish from here i'm gonna right click go to properties I'm going to uncheck to generate an 86 boot image because again I'm pushing 64 bit so I don't want an 86 bit. Uh, I'm going to leave the ISO as is. The rules, you can modify the rules as you want but I'm going to leave everything as is. The Windows PE, uh, yep you can leave it as is. I'm not changing anything. I'm going to apply it, OK, right click and I'm going to update the media content. Alright guys so the media content has completed successfully awesome super excited so from here let's test out our offline domain join so for me to actually do this I am going to completely shut down my MDT server now my MDT server is my active directory my WDS is my everything so let's close up all this stuff I'm close all this close my WDS and I'm going to send this uh, control alt delete shut down command and uh, just shut it down awesome so I want to show you guys where that media stuff was placed and uh, that media stuff is what we're going to use to deploy now you can do it in several ways uh, I'm going to go to my D drive uh, BTN HD media is the folder that we created and this is all the content that was created about seven eight gigs so you can actually find a flash drive and convert that flash drive to a bootable flash drive using this ISO or you know you could burn it into a DVD I really doubt it. you could put 7 gigs on a DVD uh, but uh, I already shut down my MDT and I'm going to go inside my VMs I created a folder called BJ offline as you see there's nothing in it I'm gonna copy the path and I'm gonna go to file new virtual machine click on next next uh, it's Windows 864 it's close to Windows 10 I'm going to call it BJ offline and I'm going to paste that path because that's where I want to drop it. Click next. I'm going to give it 30 gigs. Click next and finish. So we're going to go back into that offline folder. As you can see, stuff is in it. Go to the D drive and now we want to point this virtual machine to boot into this ISO. Again, I don't have any Active Directory up and running. So hopefully this should work. So I'm going to close this up. I'm going to go to edit virtual machine settings and I'm going to go into the CD part. I'm going to use an ISO because that's what we have. I'm going to browse. We're going to go into my D drive, BTNHD, the media folder that we created together. And we're going to click on that light touch media. So we're going to hit open and OK. And then we are going to start our virtual machine. And if everything goes well, the virtual machine should boot into your ISO. And if it does, it's going to start deploying your uh, deployment, which is awesome. Again, I'm offline, so I don't have my MDT up and running. So this right here should automatically push out Windows 10. It should give me an option to pick the task sequence that we want. And the task sequence that we want is the one that's called, um, what you may call it, the offline domain join one. So from here, uh, we're just going to wait and see what happens. Okay, uh, because I did not customize my custom settings.ini file within my media, uh, some of the stuff that usually does automatically with my deployment, it's not going to happen here because I didn't customize it within the media section. So let's click on run the deployment wizard. Let's click on that. It's going to process all the custom settings and then it's going to give me an option to pick my task sequence. Now the task sequence that we want is this one, the Windows 10 x64 offline domain join because that's where that variable that we created, that PowerShell script command that we created together uh, is in here. So we're going to click on next. Uh, computer detail, I'm going to leave it as is. And uh, for computer detail, let's call it uh, btnhd01, right? Uh, you give it whatever you want. Let's click on next. I'm not going to domain join because it's going to do offline. Click on next. Uh, next on this. You can set the time zone if you want. Again, you could customize all this within the custom settings INI file, but within your media boot. Click on next. 
there's no application so I'm gonna leave everything as is is an administrative password give it one just give it one again you guys are able to customize this to make everything seamless click on next nice little detail and we're gonna begin and then from here it's gonna deploy the operating system it's gonna rename the operating system at the very end it's gonna do that PowerShell script command that we created together and then it's gonna restart once it restart it should be already part of our domain All right, guys, so our deployment, our offline deployment has completed. Again, guys, my MDT is completely shut down. We uh, created a virtual machine and attached the ISO where that we created within our MDT server, and it completed with no error. So I'm gonna hit finish. I'm gonna right click on the start menu. I'm going to go to systems, and as you can see, Booyah, it's in my domain. It's in the domain of bjtech.edu. This is how you add a computer that's not part of your Active Directory and you want it to be part of your Active Directory. This is how you do it. Again, guys, I'm going to place all the information that you need at my site. I'm going to put the link at the bottom of the video at the description part so you guys can grab all the information that you need to get this stuff up and running on your infrastructure. Hopefully, you guys enjoy. Don't forget about hitting that like button, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.